In this video tutorial, we'll go through all the steps necessary to create the axle peg. Let's get started. Create a new standard IPT and create a new 2D sketch on the XY plane. We're going to create a series of rectangles that will make our shape. From the origin, I'm going to create the first rectangle, which will make the body of the bolt. I'm going to create a second one, which will make a ring around the bolt head. I'm going to create another one that's going to create the flat spot on top of the bolt. I'll now use the three-point arc to connect those together to make the round portion of it. Make sure that we don't accidentally get any tangents. We'll go ahead and make these center lines, the ones that make up the axis. If we take a look at the print, we can see we have a lot of dimensions that aren't defined very well like how long is the actual bolt. We have to look at the actual thread note, the quarter 20 UNC by 1.00. That 1.00 tells us that the bolt body itself is one inch. We'll now go ahead and look down to the head of it. We can see that we have 0.125 from the top of the bolt head to the bottom of the bolt head. And then we have the small section in here, the 0 .031. I'm actually going to do that one first, 0 .031. Otherwise, if I put this other dimension on first, I can kind of compress this in and turn my sketch inside out. So now I'll click on the bottom of the bolt head to the top of the bolt head and say that that's 0 .125. Great. Same thing. The diameter itself is not easily laid out. If you look at the thread note, the thread note says that our bolt is a quarter 20. We know that the quarter was the diameter, the 20 is the threads per inch. So we actually have a bolt body diameter of 0.25. Now we'll go ahead and put on some of the other diameters they have on the end, like the 0.422. That 0.422 is from the center out, 0.422. Then we have another one that says 0.25 flat. So just the small flat section up here has a diameter of 0.25, the same as the diameter of the bolt. I'm going to put on a surface radius of 0.236, and that should get us fully constrained. We'll finish sketch. I'm going to revolve all three rectangles and the small pie shape around the axis. That's going to create the majority of the bolt for us. Next what we're going to do is put this hexagon shape into the circle. I'll do a new 2D sketch on the circle. It'll automatically define the center for me. If I look at the notes, I see one that says hex socket head 5 30 seconds across flats 0.111 deep. So, first thing I'm going to do is grab my polygon tool. I'll select the origin and place the polygon on there somewhere. I know that it has six sides. I'm going to use the horizontal tool to make that sit flat. Now, it really doesn't matter which flats you pick. It's 5 30 seconds across flats. So it doesn't matter which set you pick. I'm just going to pick the top one and the bottom one. We'll say 5 30 seconds. That should fully constrain it for us. We'll finish sketch, extrude as a cut, 0.111, and select OK. All right, last two things we have to do is thread the bolt and put the small chamfer on the end. So we're going to come up here to the thread tool, and the thread tool will allow us to put a visual set of threads on there. It's not actually going to cut any threads in. It's just going to put the appropriate picture of threads on there. So we'll pick thread, we'll pick the face, I'm going to go to the specifications, and I can see that it's already picked the quarter dash 20. It picked that because it was the closest to the diameter of what I had already drawn. But I can see in the picture that it doesn't actually go all the way from one end to the other. I can see in the thread note that it says a quarter inch offset. So I'm going to come here and undo the full length and say that it has a quarter inch offset. Now you can see every once in a while it'll make the quarter inch offset come from the wrong side. I'm going to go back to face 
and click on the face again. Now as you can see as I move my mouse around it will actually allow me to decide which side the offset's on. So if I come down to this side, last thing I need to do is a chamfer. Pick my circle on the end. It is at a 45 degree and this time it is 0 0.03 or 30 thousandths. Select OK. That's everything we need to create the axle.